Hey there. If you're in Europe without official documents, you might feel like you're stuck in a tough spot. But don't worry, I'm here to guide you through how you can get residency in Spain, Portugal and Italy. First up, Spain. Spain has a process called Araigo, which might be your ticket to becoming a legal resident. There are three types of Araigo social, labour and family. For social Araigo, you'll need to show that you've lived in Spain for at least three years continuously. You'll also need a work contract for at least one year or proof that you have enough means to support yourself. Plus, don't forget to prove your integration into the Spanish community, like having a certificate from a social worker. Next, if you qualify for Labour Arego, you must demonstrate that you've worked in Spain for at least six months. This means showing evidence like pay slips or a work contract. And finally, for Family Arego, you need to have close family members who are legal residents or citizens of Spain. This could be a spouse, parent or child. Now let's talk about Portugal. Portugal has a program called Manifesta Cao de Interés. This allows you to apply for residency if you've been living in Portugal for at least one year. You need to have a job contract or proof of self-employment. Also, you should have a clean criminal record and basic knowledge of Portuguese. This might seem daunting, but there are community centers and NGOs that can help you with the language and paperwork. Portugal is quite open and welcoming to immigrants, so don't hesitate to seek help from local support groups. They can provide guidance and even accompany you to immigration offices if needed. Finally, let's turn to Italy. In Italy, you can apply for a Permesso di Sogiorno per Casi Speciali or Special Cases Permit. This permit is available if you've been in Italy for at least three years and can prove continuous residence. You'll also need to show that you have a job or that you are enrolled in an educational program. Italy also values family connections, so if you have close family members who are legal residents or citizens, it can strengthen your application. Additionally, Italy has humanitarian reasons permit so you can demonstrate that, that returning to your home country would put your safety at risk. Remember, each country has its own specific rules and processes, so it's crucial to gather all necessary documents and seek advice from legal experts or community organisations. They can provide valuable assistance and ensure you meet all the criteria. So there you have it, an overview of how you can get residency in Spain, Portugal and Italy. It might seem challenging, but with the right information and support, it's definitely achievable. Stay hopeful and keep pushing forward. Thanks for listening and take care.